Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Sam, and in today's video, I have a thrift haul. I always have a thrift haul. My eye is twitching. Can you see it? It's been twitching for like 24 hours. I think it's because I haven't been sleeping well. I don't really know. But anyway, I went to two thrift stores today. I went to the Vestry. If you're new to my channel, the Vestry is this tiny little thrift store that's like a community thrift store um, and it's only open two days a week so it's very exciting when it's open because you just never know what you're gonna find in there like every thrift store oh it's, it's twitching you see it anyway and then the other one I went to was just Goodwill so okay I'll take this off <laughs> literally just got home <sighs> act like oh like it's just such a hard day thrifting. Oh, but it does tire me out. <laughs> okay, the first bag we'll do is the stuff from the vestry. I hope the lighting's okay. I don't like using my overhead lighting because it's super yellowy. Um, so it's just natural lighting, which I'm in my kitchen and at the end of the day, the sun is coming through the living room, which would be the best lighting. But Frank is in there watching Dora. And I'm sure you don't want to hear that blasting. It's literally one of the most annoying shows. Okay, okay so the first thing I found, I need to wash this up and potentially like sand it and re, like, I don't know, like put a coating on it or just sand it. I don't really know. But I got this for $3 and I think this is so, so pretty. I love the stripes and I do think it's handmade. Such a cool bowl. It's gone straight into the sink. This is great. <laughs> so I'm right in front of my sink. So I'm gonna just pop things in there like this. Oh, that one thing about the vestry, which I love it there. And it's fun because it's kind of like messy, but it's messy. Like they don't really, I don't know, for some reason this one in particular is really dirty. But so this, basket i love it so much but it's really really dirty so i'm just gonna pop it right in my sink because that's how i wash my baskets is i just rinse them but i love this wall basket so cute and don't drink every time i say so cute <laughs> all right next thing i found this was also three dollars i'm just popping everything in the sink this is a little cheese crock it is wisconsin's finest from Psycom. Like them, 1987. So, I thought that was really cute because sometimes the lid is missing on these. So this one's got the lid, and I really liked ooh the colors. I love the cream or the beige and the blue. Next thing I found, this was also three. They were really into three dollars. I'm also gonna take off this string. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay, I found this really cool jug. Let me try to get out of the frame so it focuses. But it is Robert Wilson something. Leaves to inform his friends in public that he is something at his shop, Wall Street, something, something. I just loved the horse. And I love old like crocs like this. Anyway, it says made in England on the bottom. And when I looked this up, the comps were like 40 bucks. I'm not going to sell it for that because dear God, but, um, that was exciting. So then I got these. I'm so close. Okay. Then I got these. You can never resist a brass candlestick. These are really cute. I love when they come in a set. Okay. That was annoying. I think these were $2 for the pair. So that was exciting literally putting stuff in my sink okay and then ooh, ah, wait where's the lid oh i like when they wrap stuff for me because then i can use the wrapping when i ship ah, when i ship stuff so i'll save that i found this canister which is lord buckley's english breakfast tea and this was two dollars and i looked this up as well it was like 40 bucks lots of different comps at 40 bucks so i 
I feel like I scored some really good stuff. Um, and that place, another reason I love it so much is like the prices are really good. And they're really, really good thrift store. Like they, um, they have this program where they will, some of the money goes towards um, giving kids scholarships. So. Okay. The last thing that I got at that one is the home, this book. Now, it's really cool without the jacket. It's just this really cool uh, fabric, blue and white, like simple book, but how stunning as like a coffee table book because it's just so like simple. Um, and then it's just got pictures of home design and such. It's a little like 90s. 80s. Let's see what it was. Um, that's Frank dumping everything out. 1985. But really cool. So let me get the stuff that I got from Goodwill. Okay, so I got another full bag. Let me put this down. Come on, honey. Oh, the song? Yeah, come on. Okay. listen to the door song okay so first thing I got a goodwill was this this is for myself this is so cute it's probably just from Amazon or I don't know Target or something but it was three dollars and I could not resist the little mushroom handle so cute again right in the sink okay the next thing that I got is this ceramic duck this was six but it's definitely old because it's got that felting on the bottom and again i have i just have a thing for ducks apparently but i thought this was really really pretty i like the fall colors of it so i grabbed it actually no but then i was really ooh, i was really excited to find these these little longer burger baskets so here's the take my head out Will you focus? Anyway, the longer burger stamp is right here. And here. No. This one says um, 2000. And this one is 93. So this one's really old. It has the leather handles. And it was six, which is a little bit much for the teeny basket. But um, longer burger sells for more, you know, than a normal basket. This was also six. But I like how it has... The little hanging thing i actually have the same basket but a little bit bigger right here sorry my kitchen's dirty can you even see um where my chalkboard is and i keep my chalk and um the eraser in it but anyway i really like these little baskets so i got those and then i got another book so i got this book it's the french it just says french country love the cover um and then it, underneath i might just leave the jacket on this one but this one's just blue but i actually think the jacket's in pretty good shape and it's actually pretty cute so the inside this book is so so cool all of this beautiful like interiors oh look at this dresser okay hold on, let me this dresser is so gorgeous. Renee is actually working on a dresser for someone right now that's kind of similar. Um, so pretty. This picture got me. I love this picture of this kitchen. That is just so cute. So anyway, I grabbed that. This was $3. I will probably sell this, but oh, I kind of want to keep it because I love looking at old um, like interior design books because you need some really good inspiration from them especially like European ones or ones from the UK. It's so cute. The next thing I got is this. This was, my lighting is getting bad. Sorry about that. Um, I thought this was so pretty. I'm gonna take the tape off. This was $3. Yeah. Okay. 
I thought I was gonna tape it. Okay. I get why they tape, I do. But I hate it because it's so sticky all, up, all over this. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to like wash it super well. But here it is. Let me get my face out. Look how pretty this is. I love the mauve color and this like brass top. Okay, so it looks good inside, no chips. This is so, so pretty and so cottagey. I love it. There's no other, oh, trying to read it. it. Says one, now P, I don't <laughs> I have no idea what it says, P something, but there is a stamp on the bottom. Okay, I'm, I'm over it, okay. I found this copper little pedestal dish and this was $3. But this is in actually like really good shape. So I don't think it's super, super old, but still copper or copper plated or whatever. Um, might just be all the way copper. I don't know, but this would be so um, pretty with jewelry in it as a little catch all or on top of some books or even like I'm looking at my sink, like you could put uh, a sponge in it. I don't know. I really like it. I kept just deciding to eat right behind me. Her food dish is not there. She brought her food out. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, so this is really cool. I like dug through the kitchen utensil stuff and I found this and it has the little handle. So if you had one of those rods, which I really want to get because those are so cottagey and cute, um, you could just hang it right on. But the, the fork part is copper and then the handle is brass. Head out while you focus. I don't know if that's focusing, but anyway, two dollars for that, and this is just so cute. So, all right, this I don't know what kind of stone this is, I'm gonna look it up, but I got this for three dollars. I see these from time to time. I, I know that they come in a pair, like there's usually one here, <laughs> like this. Um, so it was kind of a gamble just grabbing one. But I still think somebody might want to buy this. And there's no, like, chips, which is kind of hard to find. Uh, and I cannot recall what kind of stone this is. I'll look it up. But anyway, this was $3, which I thought was a great deal because these can be pretty pricey. So I don't know yet what I'm going to resell this for. I have to look it up, do a little bit more research. But I was excited to find that. I found this cute little teapot um, cast iron trivet. So it's got these little pokey things. I'm gonna take this little black one off because they're, um, so they're like this. It's from 2005, but it was $2. I just think that I could wash it with a um, magic eraser. And I think this is just darling. I love that. I think it's so cute. And then my last thing, <laughs> pull up my pants. Last thing I'm gonna show you is something I don't normally pick up. I never ever get um, porcelain, you know? But I had to grab this. Look how pretty. So this is a little lady. And Renee was like, it reminds me of um, Cinderella. And she totally does. But she's just like this lady feeding geese. I really wish my camera would focus. I don't really, who cares, this better? I don't know. But I thought she was really pretty. She doesn't have any chips, I don't think. It was $6 and the comps online were like 30. So I'll probably do like 25, but she's a little low cut. <laughs> Just to feed the geese, maybe she know. Frank, what is that bashing? Maybe she knows someone down by the pond that she might run into because look at that cleave. Okay, anyway, I had to grab her. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. This is random, but I got this for Frank um, at the vestry. And it's one of those love every toys that he loves, like, doing the lock on the basement. And we have one that's like this. 
so this is like good for your fine motor skills and he would probably love to put like stuff inside of it so i grabbed that it has all these different box on it and i got it for three dollars so i thought that was cute and then it has a little handle that's so cute um but yeah that is my entire haul <sighs> now i have to wash it all plus do all these dishes plus make dinner fun is over thrifting is fun and then I'm like you know you're coming down from the thrill of it all <laughs> so anyway thank you guys so much for watching let me know which find was your favorite I don't know which one was mine Ooh, I really like that bowl with the stripes I love my little mushroom mug that I got I don't know I really like everything I feel like this was a bit of a different haul like lots of eclectic -y kind of stuff stuff i don't know anyway let me know what you guys liked and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye